array logic, a little bit different than programmable logic array. We did that last time. Well, PAL, they come array pre-designed, so you might get a board that has this on it. It will come looking like this. I don't know if you can see it. It has six inputs, one, two, three, four, five, six, with their NOT gates already connected. And it ha each one has four AND gates or together. So you can have up to four outputs out of this. So at this particular one, there are six inputs and four outputs. With each OR gate here, having four inputs going to it. See that, each OR gate? So you might not need all four. So if you end up using one of these, and you only need three of them, so you might have one empty one right here. There is no sharing here. You know, remember the PLA? We share, like if you have the same gate, you can use the same one. There is no sharing here in the terms. Sometimes if you need like, let's say, more than four AND gates, so what do you do? We're gonna encounter a case where you need more than four AND gates. So what do you do in that case? You might take the four of them, attach it to this, and make that as one input here. You'll see me do that then grab that input and that's how I can get up to eight gates for one of these. I can get up to 12 actually AND gates for one of these, which is if I loop this around, loop this around and loop that one around then grab them down here. So I can do actually more than four AND gates, but as of now, each one, each function can have up to four AND gates. If I need more, I have to be creative. So let's take an example and see how we're gonna do this one. So I got this function, f equals, or w, whatever, I'll use w here, because I'm using a, b, c for input. I could use f, actually, I guess. I hate w's, I always like a, b, c. I mean f, a, b bar, c bar, plus c, d. x is a bar, B, C bar, plus A bar, C, D, plus A, C, D bar, plus either one of these, B, C, D, because sometimes you have more than one choices when you group them through the K-map. You have two options. You can group this and that, or this and this. It doesn't really make a difference to us. And Y is gonna be A bar, C bar D, plus A, C, D bar, or B, C, D. So I wanna use a P, A, L for that. As I said, I already cheated. I made copies of this, because I don't wanna graph them. I made a few pages, few copies of this. And this comes in looking like this. You buy the chip and you have the stuff on. You can even get a smaller one that has four inputs with four outputs. This has six, I'll use it. So the first one is A, B bar, C bar. So for the first gate, I'm gonna attach A. This is A, B, C, D, I'm not really using these, E and F. So the first one is A, B bar, and C bar. That's what's going to the first AND gate. I'm gonna attach these. The second one, C and D, can you see that? C and D. Where is C and D? C is right here, D is right here, and that is actually my W. Now, sometimes I'm nervous about this one turning to one somehow. I'm nervous about these guys turning to one. I can block them. How do you block them? You connect them like A and A and R to it. Because one is going to be one, one is going to be zero. And I can do the same thing, B and B not, C and C not, doesn't matter which one you attach to.
but that guarantees that this one is always zero, this is always zero. So W does not depend on these, only depends on these. Now let's get to X. X has four AND gates. I'm in good shape. There's four of them here. The first one, A bar, B, and C bar. A bar, B, and C bar. The second one, A bar, C, and D. The third gate, A, C, and D bar, A, C, and D bar. And the fourth gate is what? B, C, D, or A, B, C, it's up to you. I'll go B, C, D, no reason. B, C, and D. And notice that's my four AND gates, or together, and that's my X. Yes? What's the benefit of using this already? Well, because the chips are already built on that board. You just got to connect them. The gates, the AND gates, everything ready. So you get the board looking like this. You just got to attach the right connections to it. That's all you're doing. Oh. Well, and wait, programmable logic array is just... Yeah, programmable array logic, this one. That's different. The programmable logic array is not there. You make it, you know? You got to attach the gates. This one comes pre-designed, six inputs, four outputs. It has on that board, particular board, and just attach what you need to attach to it. And if you're not using the bottom one, you leave it alone. The last one, the Y, has three of them, A bar, C bar, and D. A bar, C bar, and D. Next one, A, C, D bar. A, C, and D bar. The next one, A bar, B, and D, or B, C, D. Again, there is no sharing. I know I use B, C, D, but there is no sharing here with these. Remember how in the programmable logic array you can share the gate, not here. B, C, D, that will be this one. B, C, and D. This one does not have access to that one. So if I'm using BCD here or I'm using BCD, I don't have access to it through Y. So each one has to have its own. And again, to make sure this is always zero, I can attach it to C and C bar, A and A bar, any two of them <coughs> with their complement, any one of them. So that guarantees that's a zero there. And that's my W, X, and Y. Much easier. Now, I'm not using this, that's a wasted one, but I'm not using this one. But maybe for a different example, I might need that one. So that's when you have four and less AND gates. What happens if you, have, if you need more than four AND gates, like this one? Well, not this one. Let's say this was not an OR. It was this plus this plus that. Then we got a problem because there's only four of them here. So let's look at that scenario. Maybe I'll just write them on top of this page so I don't have to keep going back and forth the other page. I have some space on it. So let me write this function here. Let's look at F here. Equals. A bar, B bar, C bar, plus A bar, C bar, D, plus B bar, C bar, D, plus A, B, D bar, plus B, C, D bar. G. I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to make these are the same gates. The first three. Plus 
plus ABC plus ACD bar. And the last one, H, A bar, B bar, C bar. So the first three, I'm making them the same for all three of them. A bar, C bar, D, plus B bar, C bar, D bar, A bar, C, D bar, B bar, C, D bar. Good. So I just happen to have the same three of them going. So if you look at these three, the first three, it's the same thing. Well, it says there is no sharing. Well, that's true. There is no sharing between these gates and these outputs. So I've got to be creative here. What can I do? I have four inputs. Here we go. I got A, B, C, and D. These two are empty. There's a reason why we left them empty. Or well, we gave you six instead of four, you know. Well, let's look at this. Watch the three gates that's common to all three of them. A bar, B bar, and C bar. Let's find that. Where is A bar? Let's use different color here. A bar is right here. B bar and C bar. That's this gate, right? Next one. A bar, C bar, and D. A bar, C bar, and D. That's the second gate. And this one, B bar, C bar, and D. That's the three. And to make sure, again, this is dead, I can attach it to B and B bar. So that guarantees that's a zero. So the result coming out of this is the three gates that you see, the three and here. It's the first common ones to all three of them. That's what you see coming out of it. So what am I going to do with that? I need to make sure all three of them use that. I'm going to take this and make it as one of the input. So now you want to find what F is, right? So F has the first three of them. The first three, I'm going to attach this guy. And that takes the result from here. That's the first three gates. So I got this one here, right there. Now I gotta do these two. That's only, you can only do like three variables, right? Or Common? No, uh, what is it? <laughs> if you only had like an F, G, and an H. Yeah, if I need another one, I might have to use another chip there. You know? If I have like four of them, five of them, or I'll get a bigger one. Yes? Why do you not use the last uh, N gate? Because uh, I'm trying to group these guys together so I can use them for all three of them. So these are the first group, you see them, Nick? They come into all of them. So I made a little circuit, a little like a small chip there, designed, that will give me the output of these three all together. So this is I'm not using because I don't need to group any more to that list. That's why I made sure that's a zero. Now for this, for F, I want all three of them, which is this one covers that. Now I need A, B bar, and D. Where is A? A is here. B bar and D. So that's these three. I got these three from the top one. This one is this one. Now I need what? B, C bar, and D. B is this one. C bar and D. And I'm done with F. The first three I got them from the top. That's this one. Then I got this AND gate. That's this one. Then I got this AND gate. That's this one. So I still have one more AND gate. I'm not using. I can leave it the way it is. I'm always concerned what will happen if I get some crazy signal and suddenly this one goes to one. So to make sure that never happens, 
I can attach it to any one of these when it's, it's complement. Once you attach A and A complement to it, so even if A for some reason goes high, the complement will be zero, the result of this always gonna be zero. So that's why I killed that one. Now I need to go to G. And again, the same thing. I need to make sure it has the first three gates. Right there. See the first three? I got them right there from the top. And now I need to add that A, B, and C. A, B, and C. And I need to add that A, C, and D bar. A, C, I think that's a C, and D bar is right here. And again, to make sure I'm okay with this, I'll take C and C bar, B and B bar, A and A bar, it doesn't matter which one. And that gives me the zero there. And the last one, the H, Here's the first gate. I need that, that has the first three in it. These three already, I got them here. Now, the next one is what? A bar, C, and D bar. A bar, what does that say, C? C, I think that's C. And D bar, I think that's, where's D bar? That's D bar. And the last one, B bar, C, and D bar. B bar, C, and D bar. And again, to make sure I'm okay with the last one, I'll go D and D naught. And that gives me the zero here. And now that's how we become creative and we can use that board to give me three functions, even if they need more than no, it's more than four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. You said it doesn't matter if you use B and B not. Nope. As long as one, yep. As one, and it's, it's complement. When you're trying to kill a gate, you need one of the variable with its complement connected. And that, because one and zero is always a zero. Yeah. <clears throat> so that guarantees this will never happen. Now, if I if was only one gate that's common to them, I got a problem with this. Because if only one gate common to them, even if I use that, I still need three more. I mean, I, I, you only have now three more. You need one, two, three, four. So there's a limitation to this unless you can get a bigger device, bigger programmable array logic. With this one, you limit it to a few things. The chip comes in like this on it, six inputs, four outputs, and you can connect them. So it's your job just to solder the spots attached to each one, and it's ready to go. The gates and four AND gates for each one, one OR gate, four AND, one OR. Got to connect the right spot, and it's ready to work. Again, you could have some waste, like in this case, that's waste. That's a waste, that's a waste, that's a waste. We're not using. But I'm looking for a quick, easy way to build this circuit, and that's a quick, easy way to build it. Now, if you got a larger a problem there, we could have a problem with it. Meaning what? Well, let's take this example. Let me stop with the PLA and take a larger one here. Or PL, not PLA. This one's PL. <coughs> 